Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with another Honka Impact reaction and I'm going to react to the 5.2 new trailer that has come out, Infinite Future, uh, Honka Impact 3. I'm going to react to that trailer. So it is like very soon the 5.2 is going to come out, Mabius is going to come out and I'm guessing this is something related to that. And uh, yeah, obviously like I'm, I'm definitely going to pull for Mabius and Okay, I'm going to talk about that later on. First, let me react to that. I'm, go I'm going to react to it first and I'll talk about my impressions of the trailer and then I'm going to talk about a few other stuff. So let's first react to it, then I'll talk about everything. And uh, also, I'll be linking down the original video in the description box. Uh, if you've not checked it out, you can click on it. So yeah, let's get started. 5.2 Infinite Future Trailer, Honkai Impact 3rd Reaction. Here we go. あとは君に任せたよ。おお、ウェイ、ワット。承知しました。主教様。おじいさんはわざとここを選んだの。おお。リタスヒアルオレディウェイティング。ジェニアスデファイスコン。Oh my god, Kevin and oh. <laughs> And there she is And Raven as well, uh, yeah We're also getting her Oh, that's a cool looking snake Whoa Oh Infinite Ouroboros. Wow, she looks cool as hell. Like, and look at her attack. So colorful. <laughs> oh my god. Ah, there you go, Raven. <laughs> Midnight. Oh my god. And the music. What is this? Wow! Oh, Galen and Otto. I've been looking for it. <coughs> Whoa, okay, wow, that, okay, that's it. Okay, the first thing that I need to talk about here is maybe this looks amazing, like now when she was announced i was very surprised that maybe this is going to get uh like you know like be a playable character because i think i'm not sure about you guys but i think the whole like you know thing of being able to play as Mebius just came out of the blue i was like wait a minute like suddenly why maybe this has been introduced and like you know like always give we're always been having all the valkyries and like you know like and i also knew that raven was eventually going to come but they announced Raven and then Mebius and I was honestly talking, I was very surprised and like seeing everything about her, you know, like every, like all the, uh, like her, the way she attacks and everything, I like, <laughs> what can I say? Like being, I'm, I'm kind of an F2P in a way, like I, I'm not fully F2P, I kind of buy the, the monthly the thing, you know, the, the thing that they daily give out and the battle pass as well so like still i don't like you know i'm not that like a way like that so obviously like we players like us we need to collect crystals to actually and we need to to make a target like yeah this character i'll be spending on her so like what usually as like you know we all know the way the honkai does it like they like you know one update they put out a paid character you know for the gacha character and then the next update they put out a free character who you might go for like you know try gacha for but there's no need you can just farm for her it'll take a little bit of time and then again in the next like you know update they put out another gacha character now i really love this the way they do it because it actually gives us time and like i had myself had kind of decided to save my well, crystals unless and until we get another hersher because hershers all the hershers i i really want all the hershers so i i actually i had no plan on going for 
the character that's going to come after Raven was released. But in comes Medius and I'm like, wow, she looks cool as hell. Her attacks and everything and her weapon, you know, like, is so cool. Like, I, I had this kind of a thing where I decided not to go for the next character. But as soon as Mavis came, came I was like, no, I need to get her. And I also did not have any, any plans on getting the weapon. But as soon as I saw the weapon, I was like, okay, I need the weapon as well. Like... Each and everything about her is so cool. Her color scheme and everything. Her weapon looks amazing. Like, my God. Like, just look at it. So, <laughs> yep. Here we go. Like, I'm definitely going to go for everything. At least try to get everything. Obviously, I'm going to get maybe a... That's guaranteed. But I'm kind of concerned about the weapons and the stigmatas. So, let's see. If luck is with me, I'll definitely get all of them. Otherwise, yeah. <laughs> like, what can I say? Anyways, that was like, you know, the thing with Mebius, I like, you know, like you can probably tell I'm quite excited for when she comes and uh, okay, for this trailer, uh, we see that um, Otto is saying that sh he is leaving everything to Durandal and in, like, you know, in, in the trailer, we see him actually confronting Kevin <clears throat> and Teresa, wait a minute, who, just a sec, uh, Teresa, Tesla and Kiana, yeah, they're going, you know, they're, they're going somewhere, and Rita is kind of there as well, all, all these stuffs, and Mabius is also there, Raven, and uh, yeah, so, I'm, I'm really excited at how, at how the, uh, you know, the story is going to advance after this, because it's actually like, you know, like after the whole introduction of the Elsian realm, like a lot of lore parts are kind of coming up and we are getting to know a lot of the background things that are that actually like you know that that's happening and everything the whole thing with the moths and <clears throat> you know the different flame chasers and everything like we know we've played the Elysian realm and suddenly like you know like Mavis is also coming in she's a, like a playable character so they are also kind of getting in into the story all these different characters so I'm quite excited to see how the story will actually progress <laughs> because it seems as if they're actually planning to introduce uh, quite a few characters after this and like just like how we are seeing that Mobius maybe suddenly is going to become a playable character maybe some other characters are also going to become uh, playable characters you know some other new characters I think they're going to probably do something like that in the future and uh, yeah like I'm, I'm quite excited to see how they go know how this actually goes and what they have plans for in the future so yeah it's great and as i said like you know maybe a, her character design is fantastic her attacks are colorful it's cool and yeah like she's just fanta fantastic so definitely definitely i'm, I'm, I'm going to <laughs> try to roll for her so yeah oh and raven as well like we're getting raven for free like like that's one of the biggest thing like i had a plan i, I had made a plan from a, a long time ago like you know when raven raven was introduced i thought that yeah surely someday they are going to introduce this character as a playable character so i thought that okay maybe i should when we get some kind of confirmation that yeah raven is coming i'll probably start you know saving some crystals for her because i really wanted raven but then they announced that Raven is a free character and I'm like, that's great, you know, like she's a free character. So <laughs> like I'll be able to spend my crystals on someone else. And that's just great. And I, like, you know, as you can see, like as I'm an, I'm an F2P player in a way. So I basically don't like, you know, give much attention to all the, you know, like the, what can I say? The meta as they say. And I just want to have fun playing and I have quite a few strong Valkyries like you know like my main Valkyries are Hersher of Thunder and <clears throat> Hersher of Flamesion uh, and what else? Oh and Hersher of Sentinels. these three. These three are like the main characters that I use like you know main like a DPS I kind of use them as a DPS. So I, I barely have any problem playing the game, you know, like actually like defeating uh, enemies and yeah, I, I kind of am okay with with all that, like, you know, I, I've fully maxed out stigmatas and weapons. So 
like when Elsia came in and <clears throat> she kind of became the like you know a very strong character and she is a farmable character i i have not spent i've not spent anything on her and i know that i actually need a few of her kits to actually get stronger but since as i said since i'm an f2v player i probably won't go for anything oh but i did get her weapon though i i just did a 10 roll i did get her weapon like that's the main thing and her stigmatas i can just farm for it it'll take a long while it'll take a long while to farm her stigmatas but uh, yeah like if you keep patience you'll get it so i don't know how raven will be will she become like the new meta or something just like how suddenly elish sia came in and became the new meta i'm not sure if it's something like that is going to happen because like you know like every now and then the meta changes and but yeah i, I probably won't pay much attention to that i just want some characters who look cool <laughs> you know and yeah i don't care that much about weapons or stigmatas so yeah that's how it's probably going to go because you need to choose you know especially in gacha games you can't have them all you know unless and until you're a whale so yeah that stuff but it's reality <laughs> so yeah so i'm quite excited you know maybe this is coming and also raven and uh, i'm not sure about the what the next update will be and uh, i'm not sure actually what they're going to do I, i've i've been hearing that uh i don't know like uh like you know the the anniversary in uh is in this sca uh server they're having i'm not sure if we're going to get something from that or whatnot but like i like I, I, like there's there's a lot of uh, like you know youtube channels like youtube videos saying that uh we might get a few things not everything but a few things so if they actually does give us a few things from uh the anniversary from of, of a different server I'll, I'll gladly take it and i know what's happening in the anniversary they're actually getting a free valkyrie and a few other stuff as well so it's quite cool and uh obviously i don't have um what, what's her name uh Artemis isn't it the ice Rita I don't have her so if we actually get a free character I'm definitely going to pick her but I'm not sure you know like I'm not sure if we're actually going to get something from the other server's anniversary I doubt it but if if they gave us something it'll be great and obviously we're going to have the spending event so all that stuff I'm quite excited for everything so yeah next update 5.2 yeah it's, it's going to be great so that's it guys so thank you guys for watching um this was my reaction to uh infinite future trailer Homecoming back third so yeah so I'm, I'm quite excited to see how this goes because in the end as far as we can see you can see that otto is probably going to meet Callan in some way which is also something i'm quite interested in how this is going to go so yeah let's see so thank you guys for watching if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know i'll check them out your opinions on this trailer and if you're looking if you're going to try to get maybe us or not uh, let me know i'll definitely check them out so uh, so yeah that's it guys so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video so until then goodbye and have a nice day